We're near Fair Green now. And We're actually at Fair We're Green, at Fair judging Green. from this plaque. Yes. So uh, basically it tells us that Bagnall's Town was founded in the early 18th century. That's correct, yes. I actually thought it was older than that. Yeah, it's been around actually since the Cromwellan times. Things have changed from many, many years ago when I was a small boy. As you can see, how the park has really evolved from the time I was growing up. Before the new equipment, as you can see in there now, there used to be all the type of slide. I don't see any slide in there now anymore, but I see a lot of new swings. A lot more trees have been planted actually in here. You have a gymnasium equipment all around for people, out on exercises and everything like that. But things were a lot different when I was small. There was never really anything like this. That triangular flower bed, that wasn't even there. I had a big part actually constructed that as I got a bit older. A lot of the new shrubs and all that were planted there. I planted some of them and a lot of the trees, as you can see, have grown up to be healthy looking trees now. Joe, I actually love the design of the old post office here. And can you still buy stamps from that machine there? Sadly, no. <laughs> Tells you a bit about it. Bagnall's Town Post Office, purpose built in 1915 under the auspices of the Office of Public Works. I'll let you folks read about it in your own time there. Now, this building you see standing here used to hurl a very, very special piece of history years ago. Back in the early 80s, another building stood on here and it used to be called the Mount Leinster Arms Hotel. But now it's called Hotel Street. Uh, and what is it now? Is it just been turned just into a, apartments? Just, a, just apartment blocks, but it still has the same shape as what the hotel itself back in the early 80s had. I had the entrance going in the same way as it does now. And we're now back down to the river, which is right in front of us. So we're now by the river again, and we have an interesting site in front of us, at Rudkin's Mill. It came around, didn't it, dating to around 1680, and the mill predates the town itself and was built as part of a series of mills by Henry Rudkin, a former officer of Oliver Cromwell's army. You can read the rest of it on this plaque here. We're now on the outskirts of Bagnall's Town on the road to Fenner and just in front of us is the entrance to Ballymoon Castle which I've often seen from the side of the road on a rare occasion I'm out this way and last time was during the ploughing championships two years ago it seems like an eternity away right so we'll just go through these gates a lot harder to get through <laughs> yeah we're managing it do you want to close that behind us yeah no otherwise if we get seen <laughs> with the gates open it doesn't look too good. Yes. And here is Ballymoon Castle in all its glory as we get closer. It looks like a magnificent ruin, I must say. Oliver Cromwell invaded this castle in medieval times, brought his army over here. And to say it, when you run around it about 16 times, you're meant to be able to see the Battle of Ballymoon around the outskirts of the building as the attack was actually that, happening. That's because you'd be so dizzy that you'd be hallucinating. Hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're now entering the castle itself into what's left of the courtyard, which is just a greenery. So I'll just pan around from the inside. I love the way that they've done those windows, or rather the remains of them, yes. and the ruins of them. So uh, it's worth a visit just for a few moments if you're passing by this way. Let's have a look that way through that archway there. And I think that's towards Mount Leinster, if I'm not mistaken. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. I love the way that the light is shining on it. Yes. The lovely golden hour light, because we're at the end of summer and we're catching the last rays of the summer sun.
And so that is just about it from me, Rue, and Mr. Jair, also known affectionately as Jair Lingus, here in his hometown of Bagnus Town in County Carlow. It has been an absolute pleasure for Jair to join me as my co-vlogger, because we've been dying for this moment, try and get him on board for the last few weeks, if not months. So folks, don't forget to like and subscribe, please, to my YouTube channel, Rue Photo, and also you'll catch it on Facebook, Rue Photography and Travels. So this is actually my last vlog officially of summer 2021. We'll be heading into an autumn for the next one. That is depending on the weather. So until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Everybody has to say, I love, I love, I love, I love the way he says that.